We're following breaking news tonight, the City County Council has lifted Marion County's mask mandate for people who are fully vaccinated and expanded indoor capacity at bars, sporting events, and religious services. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brooke Martin. And I'm Phil Sanchez. Thank you for joining us here at 11 o'clock. The vote on that new recommendation is 19 to 5. So let's take a look at how some of these restrictions are changing. Indoor service at bars increases to 75% capacity. That's up from 50%. And that mark for restaurants stays at 75%. But it also boosts capacity at indoor sporting events to 50%. That's up from 25%. Indoor religious services go from 75% capacity to 100%. Some members of the council who voted no argue this doesn't go far enough. Because I believe Marin County and Indianapolis should be back at 100% uh, today. And so uh, unless we see uh, something like that, I will be a nay vote until then. I'm glad we're moving in, in somewhat of the right direction, but until we're at 100%, I'll be a nay. I, I think the Marion County Health Department and the administration is to be commended on guiding us through these turbulent times based on science and medicine and not politics and capitalist market. The health department says it will fully recommend reopening the community after two milestones are met. 50% of the population fully vaccinated and fewer than 100 new cases per day. News 8 Sierra Hignite joins us with what is holding many bars and restaurants back from being able to increase their crowd size despite these health order updates. Sierra. It's all a numbers game. Even though now bars and restaurants can function at 75% capacity, there are some specifications in the fine print that are preventing them from getting anywhere near that limit. For places like the District Tap and Condado Tacos downtown, technically, they've been able to have their restaurants at 75% capacity for weeks. But they say they aren't able to get anywhere near that number of guests inside their doors while meeting the rest of the mandate. To fit 75% of the people in here that we would need, we would need like standing room, which the city's not really allowing right now. Everyone has to be seated. So if you put everyone in a seat, you're looking at maybe 50% capacity. The six feet rule plays a big role in how many tables the bars and restaurants are able to fit. It doesn't matter if you 75%, if, if for social distancing, we, have, we only have a finite space in our restaurant. When they opened up capacity, I think a little bit, um, maybe a couple months ago to 75% really didn't do much for us. You know, we, uh, I think we were able to add like maybe two tables. Now managers and owners have had to start getting creative to get the most bang for their buck. Well, we've changed the floor plan multiple times, which means new floor charts and new, you know, sections for the servers. It's a lot of extra work. We have to try and do everything we can to maximize the revenue potential. The restrictions like social distancing and customers having to remain seated are continuing to impact how these places are able to do business. Wait times are always a higher, you know, we're, 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 we're kind of forced sometimes in opportunities to kind of uh, cap people on their, uh, their time here with us. Unfortunately for these businesses, they're maxed out until social distancing is a story of the past. I mean, it's a lot of wasted opportunities, you know, so much of your Revenue in a night or a day is going to be, you know, people walking up to the bar and grabbing a drink while they wait for a table. Managers and owners that I spoke to today say that oftentimes there's been poor communication between the city and these businesses, meaning that they really don't know what's going to happen until it's happening. Reporting, I'm Sierra Hignite, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Well, in most cases, most cases rather, customers can now leave their masks at home if they choose. News 8's Demi Johnson. Talk to people about their plans, Demi. Yeah, similar to the start of masks being required, the option to not wear them is also a divided topic. Today, people told us their decision to continue wearing masks is because they know everyone won't get the shot. Others say once Marion County's mandate lifts, they don't think any businesses should keep one in place. Continuing to keep employees masked and even asking customers to wear them will be up to owner's discretion. We ask people if they still plan to carry a mask since some businesses will have differing views. I want to protect myself. Everybody's not going to get the shot. So it's like putting myself back at risk just to, you know, because they lift it. I don't agree with it. After this mandate thing's over, my mask is a goner. It's going in the trash can to the dump. Most businesses have told us they'll no longer ask customers to cover their faces, but some say they'll still require them for employees, even if they're fully vaccinated. Live in the newsroom, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.